I just want to congratulate Robbie on being Ireland's top scorer of all time. I think it's fantastic. It's such a young age. <laughs> How does it feel to be such a young player and to be Ireland's top scorer? Um, it's strange, because when you're a kid growing up, you know, streets of Italy, they always dream of playing for the country. And I never ever dreamt that one day that I'll get more goals than Lord Quinn, who's someone that I looked up to, I literally looked up to, because he's, he's massive. But, uh, Everybody looks up to Lord Quinn. Yeah, I know. But he's, a, he's a tremendous bloke and someone who, who's helped me through my career. And, um, I never thought that, you know, I'd be him. And especially at such, such a young age, I always dreamt of scoring a lot of goals for my country, but I never dreamed that I'd be, be 24 at 24 as well. But. 56 caps, 24 mm. goals. Fantastic achievement. You're up there with Eusebio and Pelle and... No, I wouldn't go that far now. Yes, you are. I mean, statistically, yes, you are. Let's have a look at a few of these wonderful things that you did down through the years. Three goals, and I can identify them for you. They are Germany, Ireland, Holland, Ireland, and the Faroe Islands. And then I have a little surprise on to go with that. Let's have a look at these three goals. Terrific. Terrific stuff. Very cool at the back. Okay, they won't put under too much pressure on the Irish defence tonight, but... And his distribution was excellent again. Under his hundred cap. And here's Robbie Keane. Yes. That is no more than Ireland deserved. Right out of nothing. And Robbie Keane throws the lifeline. By Maybury, Reed, Keane, Reed scampering through the middle. Keane faced it down. Clinton Morris is taking a run too. It's still Robbie Keane. Keane back away a goal! Oh, that's sensational from Robbie Keane! Right on the stroke of half time, and that's within one of the record, and that's the best thing we've seen all night. And it's come from Robbie Keane. Now it's up to Robbie Keane, finish it off. Robbie Keane. The cartwheel in celebration of the record goal for Ireland. The last two have come to the penalty spot, but they all count. And Robbie Keane hits his 22nd, makes history, and Ireland go in front. I don't know about that double somersault salt that you do every time, Robbie Ali, that couldn't be good for you. It must disturb the brain and the kidneys uh, and everything. The physicist tried telling me not to do it. Did he? Yeah, a few of them told me, but why? I, obviously, in case you, you fall or something like that. But I've been doing it since, of, you know, since I was a kid, so um, obviously if it would have hurt me, it would have hurt me then, so of course, of course. it's been okay. To, to for God's sake, you're a bendy bunny still, for heaven's sake. You're in, in terrific shape. Now, one other piece I want to show you, and that is Mr. Robbie Keane has, just like Keith Duffy, taken to the acting. <laughs> and he has starred, he has starred with Mr. Doherty of, of Stuker fame. He has starred with Mrs. Brown in a gripping drama in which he and Mr. Doherty together call on Mrs. Brown as a pair of Mormons, was it? Right, yeah. A pair of Mormons. Have a look at this. How many sugars, boys? Sugars? In your tea, many sugars in your tea. Sorry, man, we don't drink tea. Of course you don't. <laughs> You're American. <laughs> the many sugars in your cappuccino. We don't drink cappuccino either, or alcohol, or anything that may taint our system. For we believe our bodies are a temple of the Lord. And if this be so, who would defile a temple knowingly? A, uh, a sterling performance, if I may say so. I wouldn't go that far now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Oh, uh, the funniest thing I've ever did in my life. No, really? Brendan uh, is a, I know. a tremendous bloke. I know. How long did it take you to do that? To do that scene? Uh, we were there for the day. We had, obviously, did a, a few more scenes as well. But, um, we just couldn't stop laughing. So you're still looking forward to the, the, the qualifiers and so on, the, the, the World Cup? Yeah, I mean, uh, this year has been a tremendous year because we're unbeaten at the moment, so and things are going you know, very well. So, you know, looking forward to the qualifiers coming up now in 2005 and um, 
No, it's, it's looking good for, for Irish football. And we're in a good position at the moment. Well, that's in no small way due to yourself, Mister. Due to yourself, well done, and thank you very much indeed. Good, to, good to see you. Stay where you are, <laughs> Robbie Keenley. Okay. Now, I want to get this in because we are building up. We are building up towards midnight, my friends, and I've got to get this one in because we were talking to Ed Lan and Monday and uh, Paddy there about Mick Christopher.